Today we're going to be talking about GTA 6, Black Friday, and how Rockstar have seemingly opened themselves up an opportunity to talk about this whole thing. We're going to be diving into all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So let's actually begin with what Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2 said on a GTA 6 thread. He said the Grand Theft Auto Online event ends on Thursday, December 1st, and Rockstar is skipping this Thursday. Last year, Rockstar announced a new GTA Online event on Thanksgiving, as well as announcing the Black Friday sales. So this is an odd move. So if we just take a look at what Rockstar Games announced earlier today, in case you actually missed that video, they pretty much covered everything they were going to be doing over the Thanksgiving week, including the Black Friday sales, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. They also talked about the heist challenge that was going on, the last vehicle from the drip feed from the previous update that the game had introduced to it, but they decided to do it on a Tuesday instead of their typical Thursday which is a little bit unusual because, as he mentioned, last year, Rockstar actually announced a new GTA Online event on Thursday. They said that the Panther statue was going to be heading to Cayo Perico, that we were going to be getting a $500,000 gift, some Black Friday sales, and more. So last year, Rockstar decided to not skip Thanksgiving nor Black Friday, but this year, they are. And they're leaving the rest of the week wide open for seemingly anything that Rockstar wants to talk about. Now, you might be asking yourself, wouldn't Thursday and or Black Friday sort of be an odd day to announce something like this? The answer is yes and no. Rockstar doesn't really care about being odd. They sort of do things on their schedule. And also keep in mind that Thanksgiving is a holiday that is only celebrated here in the United States. So Obviously, the majority of the world doesn't really care about that Thursday. It's just a, another random Thursday for them. But it wouldn't be shocking if Rockstar actually decided to do that. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Rockstar has actually done something like this where they kind of clear the runway for them to make a major announcement. I don't know if you guys remember back in 2016, but essentially Rockstar just skipped a GTA Online event week in order to announce Red Dead Redemption 2, which they ended up starting with on Sunday where they made their very first teaser. And then every day throughout the week, we got more and more teases surrounding Red Dead Redemption 2, ultimately leading up to its official reveal in the middle of the week. So I'm not saying Rockstar is going to do the same thing here, but they do have a history of, I'm just going to call it clearing the runway so that they can make major announcements for what looks like is going to be coming up. And they've done the exact same thing this year during Thanksgiving and Black Friday 2020. Now, a couple of other interesting things from the update that Rockstar did put out today. This is actually kind of something we've been following uh, really over the last couple of weeks. And they have continued to not end up releasing Vice City themed shirts. So for the entirety of this month throughout November, what Rockstar has been doing is they've been celebrating the 25th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto as a whole. And they've been releasing shirts from GTA 3 and Grand Theft Auto 4 and San Andreas. The only one that hasn't been touched is Vice City. And we obviously know, thanks to the leaks and due to reputable reports, the game's going to be taking place in Vice City and its surrounding areas. So we know that we still have one more anniversary of the game. And we know that the official anniversary of Grand Theft Auto is November 28th, which is essentially coming up in one week's time. So who knows? Are the stars aligning here? Is Rockstar saving the Vice City ones for when they make the official announcements and they tell us that GTA 6 is going to be taking place in Vice City. Therefore, it would make sense to get Vice City shirts in online. I know I'm sort of putting on the tinfoil hat a little bit here, but I could totally see Rockstar doing that. Now, they've also added more fuel to the fire. If you follow them on social media, particularly Twitter, one thing you're allowed to do, at least while this platform still exists, is you're allowed to pin a tweet. You can put it right up at the top. And ever since the Criminal Enterprises update has been out, that's the one that they've had at the top until today where Rockstar actually made a change and they put out their latest tweet, which has to do with the heist challenge. And as you guys can see there, it is pinned right up at the top 
Put your criminal instincts to the ultimate test and score big in the $2 trillion community heist challenge. So there you go. Rockstar again, adding more fuel to the fire, putting a different pinned tweet at the top of their page. It's very likely because we could get a DLC announcement sometime in the future, but this is definitely something. I guess you could call it worst case scenario. It's a DLC update for GTA Online. Best case, you know, a Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement or something along those lines. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a chance they could do it on Black Friday and Rockstar have already cleared the way for Black Friday as there's really nothing to announce regarding that because on their newswire they talked about some of these black friday discounts they said ditch your tent and folding chair and skip the chaotic black friday lines you won't need them to indulge in these special black friday discounts available november 25th through the 28th so as you would imagine it starts on friday the 25th runs through saturday sunday and into monday so you got a couple days to take advantage of that let's go over them right now we're going to start with the items that are 40 percent off and then we're going to move on to the items that are 50 percent off so here are the 40 percent off vehicles the buckingham luxor the buckingham swift the pegasi torero xo the benefactor lm87 the buckingham luxor deluxe the buckingham swift deluxe and the Benefactor SM722. All of those are 40% off, and then these are all 50% off. The Declasse Scramjet, the Pegasi Torador, the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II, the RO86 Alkanost, then you have the Mammoth Avenger, the Pegasi Oppressor Casino Penthouse Decorations, randomly, and then the HVY Chernabog. So those are your Black Friday discounts and bonuses that are happening in Grand Theft Auto Online. And as we mentioned, Rockstar have cleared the way so they don't have to talk about that later on in the week. So as far as us predicting dates on when Rockstar may or may not talk about GTA 6, they've kind of let us down up until now. But we do have one final anniversary, which is the complete anniversary of the Grand Theft Auto series. And leading up to that, Rockstar has completely cleared the way for them to talk about pretty much anything for the rest of the week because they made a very interesting shift making the Grand Theft Auto Online Newswire announcement and event week start today rather than on Thursday. So is something brewing here? Is GTA 6 set to be announced? I don't want to be too optimistic, but I will be cautiously optimistic because we're still in the month of November. This is game announcement season. This is when Rockstar have typically done it in the past. So we're going to have to wait and see. I guess the good news with this whole bunch is we're not going to have to wait long to find out if a Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement is truly on the horizon. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this video today about GTA 6, Black Friday, and a whole lot more. If you guys did gonna enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you wanna stay up to date on all latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.